Hi, I'm Maxley, and I'm nine years old. Today, two chefs are going to compete to make my dream Pokemon dish. What's up? Hi. I'm Owen, nice to meet you. Uh, hi, I'm Maxley. I'm Age. Hi, I'm Maxley. I'm a food content creator based out of Los Angeles, and I specialize in sandwiches. I'm so pumped to be on this competition, and even more pumped to be cooking alongside my dear friend, H. Wu Lee. So if you were a Pokemon, what would you eat? First, we got the berries. So yellow berries. Yep. Are the Pokemon super hungry today? Probably. They haven't even eaten. I am a food content creator, and this is my first time on I Draw You Cook. I feel like especially with Owen, it's not really competition. It's just for fun. I will still win. Now, we need the cake. So these are layers, right? Yes, they are layers. OK. And now, what is that? Uh, it's just the markings and stuff. Do you like sweets? Oh, yeah, a little. A little hesitant there. So are you more savory or in a little middle, bit of both? In yeah. a little bit of both. Do you have a, a favorite fruit? Fruit from banana. Okay, banana. so banana's your favorite. Yes. This cake was supposed to be given by Arceus. So it's a revive for all the Pokemon? It's kind of like that because there's Like no a full restore? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a full restore. I feel like he and I are connecting on some level of Pokemon. I got some of the references. So do you have a favorite food? Loco Moco. Loco Moco. It's, it's a Hawaiian food. What are your other types of favorite foods? Chicken cutlet. Do you have a favorite kind of sushi? Oh, yeah. California roll. What's your favorite vegetable? Broccoli. All right, so what is this blue it's thing? It's called Ocean Mist. To quench the thirst of the Pokemon? Yes. I mean, yeah, like if he's eating a cake oh. this big, he needs a lot of liquid. You are correct. I'm kind of a little nervous just because there's so many colors going on and Immediately, I'm seeing a very big cake, and I don't bake whatsoever. All right, so we got some star action going here. Yep. So what is that for? No, they eat it like regular food, like the cake. So do you think we can actually make this Pokemon dish into what you want? Yeah, I think so. Good luck to both of you. I'm gonna start with a tiered banana bread cake because Maxie's favorite fruit is banana. I am making sushi rice for the first layer of cake, which is gonna be layered with other components of Max's favorite food, loco moco. Ah, I'm very worried. I was also thinking of making a loco moco. I thought it was a great idea. It hits right on the spot of what his favorite food is. You start with sushi grain rice. I will start it and then get on to my next layer of the cake. The chicken cutlet layer of the cake. That's not in a normal loco moco. If you remember, I don't he said remember. his other favorite food was chicken cutlet. Mm. So That's true. I'm adding That's true. all those favorite foods. Is this your mom's recipe? It is. Damn it. It's really good. She makes really good banana yeah. bread. Truthfully, I never make sweets except for ice cream. But do you want to wait? <laughs> no, I don't. OK. This is my impression of how Owen cooks. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. But for this time, I would like to make a banana bread cake. I feel like I cook pretty fast. I get the job done. It's very free flowing. He's loud and big, and that's reflective of his personality as well. You gotta be honest, I'm like really bad at one hand cracking eggs. Pretty good at it. I know pretty much every way there is to crack an egg. So you take one egg, you take another egg, and you crack the egg on the other egg. Look at that. Have a little fun with it, you know, crack the eggs against each other. <laughs> Hey! Perfect! See, hey. It works. Dude, two hands, watch this. Boom. What the? <laughs> What's the eggs thoroughly? Baking soda, salt, white sugar, brown sugar, vanilla paste, canola oil, buttermilk, secret ingredient, wet batter, dry batter. Combine it all together. I'm just gonna kind of fold it in. So once you don't really see too many clumps of flour, then you can start pouring it into your pre-greased cake molds. Then we'll bake these off. Have you cooked for kids a lot? No. You? No, but I consider myself a kid, and I cook for myself every day. Got it. So yes. So now we're gonna shallow fry. You wanna drop it away. You're looking for a nice golden brown, and then you're gonna flip it three to five minutes per side. So for the next part of the drawing, these five little star boys are gonna be star-shaped chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. Season our ground chicken, paprika. Some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and some salt. We got a nice golden brown, and we're just gonna set that aside, let it rest, season it. Thank you, Chef. Of course. Now we're gonna get started on the Loco Moco beef patty. Okay, so we're gonna crack two eggs in here, mix it all together. You've got your wonderful mixture, and 
Bang, flying it out. So we got ground beef, chopped up onion, two eggs, panko, garlic, oyster sauce, Worcestershire. I feel like that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Really yeah. bind the ingredients together. We're gonna take this ring mold and shape the meat. Once we have it nice and compact in its perfect circle, we're gonna go bake it. This is looking good. You think that looks good? There's just a layer of chicken sludge. I'm gonna go freeze this, let it set. Now we're gonna make the gravy for the loco moco. So we're gonna start by melting some butter in a pot. We're gonna saute the mushrooms. I have some washed, cleaned rice here. A cup of fresh mountain spring water. That's a lie. That's not a lie. I saw you get it from the sink. I never lie. You what? got it from the sink. No, I didn't. I'm yeah. gonna make some sushi rice. That looks familiar. Mm. Wait, what is the rice for? I don't know. I actually loved Ritz crackers, so I'm gonna batter my chicken nugget stars in Ritz cracker. Dude. Dump them all in. You wanna find dust. Now that my mushrooms are nice and cooked, we'll add the beef stock, and then that cornstarch slurry. So it's very liquidy now, but give it like five minutes and you'll have your gravy glue. Blended Ritz crackers over batter. I'll put a little paprika here, but at the end we're gonna dust it with fresh ketchup powder. Look at that, that's some good gravy. Nice and thick and glossy. We can let this go and cool. The rice has been cooked, so we'll add it to a, a bowl. And then add the seasonings, rice vinegar, sesame oil, salt, and sugar. And mix it all up so it'll be nice, compact, and sticky. Put it on a sheet tray and evenly Distribute it. You can be messy, just keep it on your side, that's all. Yeah, but like, come on, there's like a few grains of rice. Right. Messy's not bad, but he's messier than me. Flatten it. We're gonna freeze this, cut it, and fry it. And we're gonna start my sushi balls. I knew you were gonna make sushi. <laughs> I'm dicing up very finely some avocado. So I'm gonna cut these cucumbers into fine little stems so they look like the tops of berries. And this is something I'm still working on, but you can skin a cucumber, pressing down. Small cuts, you can rotate the cucumber so you get your skin off. Why do you have to complicate everything? Oh, let me like take out my tweezers and be all nitpicky. So cucumbers looking pretty stemmy. I have puff pastry, so I'm gonna start by rolling it out. I'm gonna cut out shapes. Kind of struggling here. I'm having a little trouble cutting out the stars. Look at this star. Like what? what is this? but I did hear a great tip on flouring the mold so it just slides right out. Oh, look at that, it worked. It That's worked. Going. That's perfect, you got it. So now we're gonna brush this with egg wash. This will be a good binder for the Parmesan that we're gonna sprinkle on top. I'm gonna go bake them. Hopefully the shape will hold. For the last component of the California roll, imitation crab. And I'm just gonna do a little test because this is my first time making California rolls, but I'm gonna try to bind avocado with the imitation crab with a little Mayo. Now that the rice has cooled and set, I'm gonna be using these two shapes to cut out uh, the layers of the cake. I'm like scared. So I've never made a rice patty this big and I'm definitely struggling to get it inside the pot. Uh, Look, put, it, put it flat on the cutting board. Classic Owen, just needing my help again. This way. No, no, flip it over right now. Like, How, over, how's over. my hand supposed to flip that way? He's always there for me when I need him. No, go like, yeah, send me yeah. There, and there. then take the paper off. Oh, uh, thank you. All right. Gently slide it in away from you. Yeah! If I lose because of the cake, <laughs> I swear to God. My California roll mixture is done. I'm gonna start seasoning my rice. Dude. Rice vinegar, salt, sugar. I will say this worries me, seeing him make rice, because to be honest, the best sushi rice I've ever had is from H. Making sure every grain is coated. It's a little too seasoned, but it's like too seasoned. It's too much vinegar. That was not the rice I was talking about. No. <laughs> I'm just not in my element. This is like not my rice cooker, nor uh -huh. the right amount I use. Can I please borrow some of your rice? So you want to take some of my rice? Mm -hmm. I was a little taken aback when H asked to use my rice to make his rice better, but since he lended me a hand in getting the rice in the fryer, I'm obviously gonna help him out. Yeah, you got Okay, it. thank you. <laughs> this is looking great. We got that nice golden crust on the outside, so we're just gonna transfer it over and let it drain and cool. So now we're gonna form our yellow sushi ball 
berry thing. To make it yellow, we're gonna use yuzu or yellow topico. So our base layer, you gotta be very gentle with this stuff. I think H is taking a big risk with the sushi balls. He's covering it in fish eggs. I don't know what nine-year-old likes that. Next layer is rice. So a little bit of our filling, a little bit more rice to seal that. So you pull this all together and try to get all the air out. And you're gonna twist and form a sushi ball. Unravel this puppy. I'm gonna add little stems. That ain't Look it. That. that ain't it. It's cute. That is not a yellow berry. This is an interpretation. <laughs> I think it looks more like a yellow brain. Either way, it doesn't look that great, but when you put the little stem on top, I think it looks cute. Now I'm gonna show you how to make real yellow berries. So we're gonna start by cleaning up the pineapple. So I have this ring mold that kind of resembles like a berry shape. Oh, haha, -ha, that's pretty cool. So I am making punctures in the pineapple to put in the little airhead stems. My chicken has frozen. I'm gonna punch them out with these star shapes. Flour, egg wash, rich cracker, breadcrumb. All right, so now we have our puff pastry stars. These are great, look at that. Now we just gotta turn them red. And so to do that, we have even more cheese. Mix that with some red food coloring. And then we're just gonna coat it, toss it. And that's a red cheese star. Look at that. That looks radioactive. Huh. Why does it look like a nuclear power plant? <laughs> He may think it's radioactive. I think Max Lee will think it looks identical to the picture. Bang, fry. Dude, look at that. That looks unreal. That's pretty cool. My final stage, I'm gonna dust this. Ketchup powder, bang. Red stars that aren't radioactive. Dude, that looks just as gnarly <laughs> as this. My banana bread cake is done. So I'm just cutting off the top to flatten it and create my three-tiered banana bread cake. I'm gonna be shaving off some vegetables. Got a bunch of different colors here. Yellow strips, purple cabbage, green. We're gonna use his favorite vegetable, good old broccoli. Look at that. That looks sick. That's a cake. I am not an expert at frosting. <laughs> Your mom is a great baker though. My mom is a great baker. I do know H's mom quite well. Uh, she <laughs> would, uh... <laughs> Hi, Susan. No, they, they get along well. They get along really well. So we're gonna start off with our ocean mist right now. I have a bunch of delicious ingredients here, all natural. What's that over there? All right, hear me out. Kids love all of this. We got ingredients for a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And now to make this magical drink, add some honey around the rim, roll it in some Pop Rocks, an even ratio of Mountain Dew and Sprite, and then the rest will be Frost Cool Gatorade. And then uh, this is blue and it's sugar, so I'm gonna put it in, <laughs> inside the cup as well. And there you have it, blue misty uh, drink. So to make this ocean mist misty and oceany, I have spirulina powder. My man, with your plate, he's eating chicken nuggets, whole cake, sushi balls. He's gonna be quite parched. And does he wanna like take down a thick shake? No, he's gonna want some nice, cool, misty Mountain Dew Baja Blast. You know? That's my thought process. You do you. My thought process was nailing each component. I don't think that a nine-year-old is gonna think about the balance of an entire composed dish. All right, drinks are done. Let's uh, plate up and present it. Yes, chef. My burger patty shrunk significantly, so I'm gonna have to basically shrink everything else to make sure it has that tier layer for the cake. First thing I'm gonna deal with is decorating my banana bread cake. So I'm gonna first measure some of these Twizzlers to line up the tiered cake. Yours is a lot more difficult. <laughs> now the gravy glue seems to be working nice. It's also gonna be very flavorful. And now I'm just gonna cut a mold for the chicken. And then the last part is just a fried egg. Look at that, that's a savory cake. Do you think when Maxley tries your cake, he's gonna think loco moco? I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to decorate said cake. It's the cake for the Pokemon God. Realizing though that I need to decorate a bit more than I thought. Most of this cake looks pretty plain. We'll add the red stars. So he has a few red stripes on there. I'm gonna just try to make a few red lines with ketchup. Purely for spacing, I chose this really big Lazy Susan because this cake is What's a large. Lazy Susan? It's the term for this, it's a Lazy what? Susan. Yeah. It's your mom's name. It is my mom's <laughs> name. My red stars on the plates, my yellow berries, and my wonderful ocean mist milkshake. And I am done. All right, well, let's see what Maxley thinks. And may the best cook win.
Overall, I'm super happy with the entire dish as a whole. I'm really stoked with how the cake turned out. I think you can clearly see each layer and the different colors. The red stars, I think, are identical. They also taste great. The blue drink, I think, is also super cool. Give them that mist effect. It's blue, it's sweet, it's sugar. What more do you want? The berries, it is just pineapple, but I added the green airheads. Hopefully, he will be a fan of that. I think it looks a lot like the picture. I hope Maxley likes it too. I'm feeling pretty good about this dish. Starting with the cake, I think it looks great. I think it looks like the picture, even though it's not a perfect oval with 100 colors. The yellow berries, I think they look adorable, and they honestly look like something out of Pokemon. He likes chicken cutlets. I think chicken nuggets hit the spot. Ocean mist tastes great. I feel like every single kid in the world loves vanilla milkshakes. Hopefully, Max Lee enjoys my plate more than Owen's and I can take home the prize. Bring on my dream Pokemon dish. Oh my god, they actually went full out on this. It was actually supposed to be green, not purple. Max Lee, I tried my best with the colors. I Just give me a break. And they actually um, did the umbrella. I think I'll eat the stars. That's chicken. I'm wondering now, what is the red? Hmm. It actually does taste good. Hmm. I don't really like it. Oh my god. He didn't like the sushi balls. What are they? Just take a bite of the middle. It's your favorite California roll. Wait a minute. What is inside? Oh, sure. It tastes like my dad's coffee with frosting on it. Why is he drinking his dad's coffee? <laughs> the cake itself is okay in the middle. The color is actually bringing it a little bit up. Overall, I think the drink is what is keeping it up. I'm gonna lose. Holy, <laughs> I can't believe this. It kind of looks very close to it. How did they get the egg so small? He seems stoked. They kind of burnt it a little. It tastes lemony. It tastes okay. The hard candy is really hard to bite in. That's Pop Rocks. I think we'll try the star. It's hard, or kind of. What is this? Hey, it's cool. And edible. Hey, they actually do look like it. I think I'm definitely getting more points on accuracy. I think I'll try this cake. Oh, I know what this is. The local moco. That's actually pretty good. That is chicken. The red chicken was better. He's as smart as I thought. He's good. I knew it. It was pineapple. The green thing mixed well with the pineapple. Overall, the cake was pretty good. And also the pineapple. Let's bring on the chefs. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Hello, hello. Oh, hello. How are we doing? Good. All right, Maxley. Which dish did you like more? Dish one or dish two? Dish one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I won! There you go! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being on with me and also baking me the greatest lunch ever. Oh, thank you. That was really sweet. It's the greatest achievement of my entire life. Congrats, H. Wu. Maxley, I hope you enjoyed your food and um, I'll see you in fourth grade. Do I get a <laughs> consolation prize? Yeah, a hug. Oh, come oh. here, Maxley. Can I get a hug? Yeah, sure. Aww. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me like eat what you made. Thank you. It's my honor. It's not your honor. You get paid <laughs> to do it. <laughs> <laughs>